welcome to my series of videos that is going to help you bust out of that rut and take your playing to the next level. In this video, we're going to talk about a very, depending on the way you look at it, easy way to change up your practice routine and make things really fresh for you. I know a lot of us practice, uh, we're focused on some sort of set of scales or arpeggios or tapping or sweeping or whatever the thing is that you're working on. And after a while, it just kind of gets stale. Um, I happen to be the kind of guitarist that just loves to play. And if it's even something mundane and mechanical, I like having the guitar in my hand and, and doing that. To me, it's a little meditative. Um, but I can certainly understand how feeling like uh, things are getting stale, you got the same licks, you got the same you know uh, ideas that you kind of run through every time you're jamming with friends. I find something that's really refreshing and uh, always helps me uh, expand my vocabulary and get new ideas is learning a musical style that, uh, you know, is kind of different for me. Um, it's no secret I play mostly rock guitar, uh, but I've really enjoyed over the last uh, year and a half trying to learn how to play country guitar. And uh, bought a few books and took some lessons and rented some DVDs and uh, learned some new scales like, you know, the taking, you know, your usual blues uh, scale and uh, learning the other four positions and, and kind of using it in a major context, which a lot of uh, country guys do, um, was different for me. But it opened up my the doors and my ears to a lot of new ideas. You know, simply taking a style you're unfamiliar with is going to force you to, you know, put your fingers on the guitar in places you, you haven't put them before. Uh, bending notes uh, like you've never done before. Um, playing, you know, uh, country, there's a lot of idioms, you know, the, the idiot, idiosyncratic stuff for country guitar, you know, open kind of, you know, uh, harp-like uh, scale runs, banjo rolls, um, hybrid picking, things like that. Um, I like the challenge and I like how it simply opens up, you know, new ideas. Uh, same thing for, you know, jazz guitar. Um, chord voicings that Man, I just don't find myself, you know, playing all these different crazy, you know, major seven flat six chords and minor seven flat fives and sharp nines and on and on and on. Um, but it helps, you know, bend my ear a little bit and keep things fresh. And you never know when some new idea is going to come to you. Same deal with classical guitar, you know, simply orchestrating, you know, parts and contrapuntal lines, um, finger style. Um, is a really refreshing thing to do. Um, lately, I've been trying to practice some kind of, you know, neo flamenco stuff on a nylon string guitar, and I've been really enjoying it. And it's really kind of opened up new ideas and uh, playing style. Just using scales that I don't normally use a lot, and uh, applying that to my rock playing, you know, really helps. And vice versa, if you're a jazz guitarist and all you've been doing is studying, you know, Jimmy Bruno and uh, Wes Montgomery and you know, licks by those cats, that's awesome. But I can certainly see how that could get a little stale at some point. And hell, try it out, man. Do it. Put your right hand over here and start tapping. You never know what might happen. Um, <laughs> might get more people at those gigs. Uh, or even if you're a country guitarist and you never, you know, turned on the distortion before or you never, you know, tried out a whammy bar. Um, trying to play music that ain't in your wheelhouse uh, man, is that a great way to keep things fresh. You know, a lot of people always ask, don't you get bored playing, you know, practicing uh, as much as you practice? I keep it interesting, you know. I change things up. Um, hope this helps. Uh, all you rock guitarists, get out there and learn some flamenco. And all you flamenco guitarists, uh, you know, pick up a, a guitar pick and see if you can't play Eruption at some point. Although, you don't need a pick for that, do you? Until next time, take it easy.